Hey guys, how's it going? So, with the recent arrival of the server, I'd like to go through a few things in a little tutorial video. Uh, just to show you guys how to install some things that can improve your experience on the, uh, on the server. So, first things first, it'll be a paper 1.18.1 server. Uh, the paper means that we won't be using any server-side mods. Uh, we will be using plugins and uh, a couple of shaders. And you can install client-side mods, I'll go through those in a minute. Um, but you won't be able to use anything like Forge or any of the mods on there. Um, so the version of the server is 1.18.1. .1. It is compatible with 1.18. So if you prefer 1.18, then you can use that as well. Um, but there are three recommendations that I would advise everybody to get if they can. And I'm just going to go down to them here. So three things. Java, which is right here. Optifine and the Astralex shaders. So Java is what you would need to uh, open Optifine with and it's, it's just good to have Java in general on your computer. Um, so you would agree this, agree with this, sorry, and start the free download and it will start downloading. Next we want to download Optifine. So we'd go to downloads here. Uh, it will show you the different types of versions that you uh, might want to download. Um, 1.18.1 is for me because I have Minecraft 1.18.1 and Optifine 1.18 is obviously for that version of Minecraft. If you have, for instance, 1.17 and you attempt to download 1.18, it's not compatible. It will not work. So double check and make sure that you're downloading the uh, same version of Optifine as the version of Minecraft that you have. So I'm going to click download on 1.18.1 here. It's going to take me to this screen now. Don't press anything on this screen. In the top right, wait for this little uh, skip button to appear. After you've waited for five seconds, and just click that, and it'll take you to the download link. Click that, and it'll start up straight away. There we go, and it's downloading. All right, next thing, I suggest the Astralex shaders. Oh, let me get rid of this. There are a bunch of dish different shaders that you can get. It's not just Astralex, but I love Astralex, um, and I know a lot of other people do too. Uh, it increases or improves sorry the aesthetics of the game so so much it's unreal what you can do with it however it does it doesn't take a beefy computer but it does take a little bit um of your computer's like ram and just just a little bit extra power in your computer so if you're not able to run it that's fine uh you can still join the server if you want just completely vanilla nothing else installed you can just download Minecraft, install it, and jump straight on the server. That's not a problem. None of this is necessary to join the server. It's all recommendations. So these pictures here are roughly uh, what it's showing you that you're gonna get. Uh, this is pretty much how it looks in the game, if not even better in the game. Um, so I'm gonna click download in the top right here. And it's gonna take me to a link. <coughs> or to another page rather where it'll start the download. There we go. So we've got Java, we've got Optifine, and we've got Astralex in a weird sort of name font format, whatever it is. We can change that in a minute. So I'm going to open this. And it should, uh, it's going to take me to a blank screen, I think. But it should say, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click yes, and it will uh, start installing, or it will bring up something to um, ask you to install it. So give that a second and it will pop up. There we go. There it is. Updated license terms. Uh, I'm just going to click install and it will start installing. It might take about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, for me, it should take about a minute. It's not a problem. In the meantime, we're just going to have to wait because I can't actually do anything without the Java because I need to open up to find next. So yeah. I'm going to cut and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you have successfully installed Java. So I'm just gonna close this down and we're done with Java for now, that's it. We don't need this tab open anymore. Java's installed on the computer, we're all good to go, Christy. All right, next thing uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little arrow here and I'm gonna show this Optifine in folder. And the reason I'm doing that, let me just uh, close this down for a second, is because I wanna um, bring Optifine to my desktop and the reason I want to do this is so it's a little bit easier to drag. 
uh, and place in folders. So I'm going to bring Astrolex as well to further left. And we don't need this download folder anymore. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to rename this something easier to read so you remember what it is. So I'm just going to rename it Astrolex. Uh, it's not really important what you name it. Um, it's, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to name it Astrolex if you don't really want to. Um, now for an important bit. You need to open uh, Optifine with the Java TM platform SE binary. This is why we downloaded Java. It's part of the reason why we downloaded Java. Um, it's going to ask you to install Optifine. And you need to install it exactly here uh, in the roaming.minecraft folder. So we're going to click install. If it's not there, you're going to need to search for, the, for that. It should default there anyway. Uh, but it's going to tell you that Optifine is successfully installed. So we're good to go with that. Um, next thing, we need to uh, search for percent app data percent. It's specifically this folder. Don't miss out any percentages. Don't misspell it. Uh, so you need to open this and you need to go into dot Minecraft. You want to find something called shader packs. So we can find ours down here. Don't worry if you don't have anything called shader packs. That's fine. You can create a new folder and call it shader packs exactly how it's spelled here. Don't need to worry about that. So if it's not there, if it's just, uh, I don't know if I can rename this, but let's just pretend it's not there for a second. Just click new folder, call it shader packs. I'm not actually going to do it. Press enter and then it's there. So I'm not actually going to call it shader packs. We'll just uh, delete that. Okay, so we go into the shader packs and we're going to drag Astrolex into here. And that is Astrolex on your computer, on your Minecraft, uh, in your Minecraft folder, sorry. Optifine's on there and Java is obviously on there. So we can close this now. If your Minecraft is open, I would recommend um, restarting it. But Optifine should be here for you. Okay, so once you're on here, you should uh, be able to click on this little thing right here. And you should be able to see Optifine. You select that and then you would click play. If that's not there, you don't need to worry about that. That's completely fine. Um, you would go to installations and you need to create a new installation. Uh, you can name it pretty much whatever you want. Uh, I would suggest just calling it Optifine so you know what you're running exactly. And you would need to click uh, your version of Optifine. So mine is obviously 1.18.1. The server's only compatible with 1.18 and 1.18.1. .1. Anything else, you're not going to be able to uh, join the server, unfortunately. <coughs> so you would click on that, and then you would click Create. I'm not actually going to click Create because obviously mine's here. I don't need to create another one. But once you do that, it will take you back here, and you can select it, and then you can click Play, and it will load up. So we're just going to wait for that to load and I'll be with you guys in a minute. Okay, so once you're in the Minecraft uh, menu, uh, you can't just go straight into it. I mean, you can if you w if you don't want to, you know, use the shaders or anything. But if you want to uh, be able to use the shaders, you need to go into your options and go into video settings. Uh, you go into your shaders, and usually the default is off, so this would be highlighted. But for me, obviously, Astrolex is on. Um, so you'll see a menu, something like this. Give it a second. something like this and now what you'll want to do is just click on Astrolex and it will just automatically switch over to Astrolex shaders and once that's done you can um, configure the options yourself on the right hand side here I would suggest leaving everything on default whilst you test the performance of your computer first 
unless you know exactly what your computer can handle, if it can handle it, and blah blah blah. Um, I would suggest uh, checking out the frames per second, the performance of the computer, or anything like that, seeing if it's overloaded. It, it, sh it shouldn't take too much, but some obviously some people's computers can't really run it. Mine can, some uh, some other people's can, so that's that's all good. Um, but I keep mine on uh, default anyway, just to get a nice few frames on there. Obviously, the higher you go, uh, the slower uh, the gameplay will be, the, um, the less frames you'll get. Um, some people can still run it at 60 frames, 120 frames, if they have like seriously beefy computers. <coughs> and for me, on one times, I, I get a decent amount, even with uh, a GTX 970. But yeah, that's everything done, guys. I will not be able to show you gameplay because as much as my computer can handle the graphics, for some reason it can't handle recording at the same time. And it runs at about 5 frames per second on the recording. But in the game it still runs at the same speed as it would. But yeah, that's everything. We're all done. You can uh, customise or configure this if you want. That's completely up to you. can join the server from there and we're all good to go take care and peace guys